Hello and welcome. You're on a series of three videos about mic triggering, in which we're gonna uh, use one acoustic instrument and a microphone to trigger multiple synthesizer sounds in Ableton Live. And that's command R or rename, and we're gonna name it uh, trigger slash dry because that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be the trigger uh, for uh, the the sound of, of uh, the second channel the MIDI and in this MIDI channel we can drop um, a, a MIDI instrument and I've chosen a bass you could use any bass, it doesn't make any difference what uh, bass you want to use. Um, only it's uh, more easy when it's ha it has a uh, more steady sound. Because um, we, gonna, uh, uh, we don't, uh, don't want to use the, 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 the tap or the, the click, uh, wh whatever we can play. It's not important which uh, tempo uh, here on here it is in in live so uh, bass Clyde synth bass SQ is a bass with a steady sound um, we make a clip in here and this clip is one single note a C C2 a C2 and we gonna stretch it for half bar and the length of the clip will be half a bar two. So this is zero. Cut myself away. And we're gonna listen to it, it sounds like this. Gonna stop it. And now we're gonna trigger it by microphone. So we need uh, a gate over here in this channel, the bass channel, because the bass channel is only the source for what we're gonna do later on. And now we have to trigger this one. Um, we need a gate uh, over here. Here's the gate. We need a gated run, and we put it over here. Click the triangle and click side chain. We need si side chain. Audio from trigger dry. That's where the audio comes from. Um, you can leave this here. Li uh, post effects. Um, add the threshold lower, about minus 30 for now. And gain zero attack. You want a fast attack. Uh, it's all up to you if you want to hold the, the signal longer or uh, the release uh, you can change that dry wet um, I advise it uh, keep it on 100 percent because um, otherwise it will uh, leak the sound of the of the, uh, the MIDI bass um, and you can hear the sound uh, even though you didn't hit the drum. The, the snare drum is right behind me. Uh, oh yeah, uh, it's very important. Audio from, in this case, I put it up in the second uh, input, so that's audio from the second. I hit my snare drum. I need to put it on in. Okay, here's my signal, and it's now I'm gonna, gonna play the bass, and we won't hear nothing until I hit my snare drum. 
so that's our basic and in the next video we're gonna uh, multiple this sounds we're gonna uh, get uh, three diff different sounds from one snare so i hope to see you in the next uh, video